In the previous video of this chapter, Voice Change, we have learned about the general rules of active and passive voice. In this video, we will learn about the unique and exceptional rules through some examples. At the end of the video, we will also go through some previous year questions. So, let's start. The first one is verbs with two objects. Sometimes, verbs are used with two objects in active voice sentences. Then, passive voice can be made with either of these two objects. Like if I take the following example, she taught him English. Here, subject is she, the verb is taught and him English, these two both are object. Now, we can make the passive voice of this sentence taking either of these two object. If I take the object English, then the passive voice will be English was taught to him by her. And if I take him as a subject, then it will be he was taught English by her. Similarly, for the next example, he gave me a gift. Here, me and a gift both are object. Now, if I consider a gift, then it will be, in passive voice, it will be a gift was given to me by him. And if I consider me as a subject in passive voice, then it will be I was given a gift by him. Similarly, for this, he bought me a scooter. Here, me and a scooter are objects. And if I consider me as an object, in this case, it will be a subjective case. And it will be, I was bought a scooter by him. And if I consider a scooter as an object, to convert in the passive voice, then it will be, a scooter was bought for me by him. So, in case of two object, we can use either of the given object in passive voice. Now, there are certain verbs that exist whereby is not used when making a passive voice. Instead of by, we use at, with, in, to, etc. preposition. So, let's go through the examples. If I say, I know her, its passive voice will be, she is known to me. She is known by me is not appropriate here. Because the correct preposition which goes with no is to. The next one is he, his result surprises everyone. Its passive voice will be everyone is surprised at his result. Verbs like surprised, astonished always go with the preposition at. Next one is a blow of lati killed the dog. The dog was killed with the blow of lati. This will be the correct passive voice. Now, why I can't say here the dog was killed by a blow of lati? Why it is necessary to use with? Because by is used for any living doer. In case of living doer, we used by. But in case of non-living, we use with. Here, a blow of lati, it is non-living object. So, hence we use with the dog was killed with a blow of lati. The next one is the book contains much information. Its passive voice will be much information is contained in the book. Here I should mention an extra point. Why I use is with much information and also why I use much with information because information is uncountable noun and with uncountable noun we use singular verb that is is so that's why the passive voice is much information is contained in the book next one is 
I have taken this example. Sorry, I have taken this example to understand where we use with and where we use in. I have already stated that in case of living doer, it will be by, and in case of non-living, it will be with. And also in case of non-living, we will use in. So, in case of non-living but countable noun, we will use with. And in case of non-living but uncountable noun, we will use in. Here in this example, our constitution was written with a feather in red ink. Now, feather is countable. That's why I use here with. And ink is obviously uncountable. So, I use here in. So, this will be the structure that our constitution was written with a feather in red ink. Now, if I come to the previous examples, I have used here with a blow of lati. So, now we can understand why we use with instead of in. Because lati is countable. And in this case, why we use in instead of with? Because book is book is not there is the much information is contained. So this information is uncountable. So that's why we used in. It is because it's referred to this information. So that's why we used uncountable. For the uncountable noun, we used in. Now, if I consider this last two example, the first one is the servant annoyed with, sorry, the servant annoyed the master. And its passive voice is the master was annoyed with the servant. And the next one is his insolence has annoyed the teacher. And its passive voice is the teacher has been annoyed at his insolence. Now the question arises that why I use here with and why I use here at because the verb is same. In both cases the verb is annoyed then why I use here with and why I use here at because the rule is we say annoyed with someone. And annoyed at something. This is the structure. It also goes in case of angry. Angry with someone. Angry at something. The master was annoyed with the servant. This is a person. So an angry or sorry annoyed with servant. This is with someone in this case. And in this case annoyed at his insolence. His insolence is not a living object it is something so it will be here at annoyed at his insolence the next one is infinitive the use of infinitive and here we will see the use of to be so the first example is he is to help her its passive voice will be she is to be helped only add be. She is to be helped by him. The next one is I would like someone to help me. Its passive voice will be I would like to be helped. We can also say that I would like to be helped by somebody but or someone but this someone and somebody are indefinite or vague pronouns so it is not necessary to mention here if it is in the options the given options in the exam then we can select it otherwise it is not necessary so the next one is she was to write a book on birds here the book on birds it is totally object the book on birds so it will be the subject in passive voice and it will be a book on birds was to be written by her. Next one is there is nothing to lose. It will be remain same in case of passive voice. There is nothing. There is nothing 
टू लूज विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू टू बी लॉस्ट सो देर इज नथिंग टू बी लॉस्ट नेक्स्ट वन इज जीरंट वी नो जीरंट इज वर्क प्लस आई एन जी फॉर्म सो द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज दे फाउंड हिम हेल्पिंग द पोर इट इज द जीरंट हेयर सो वी कैन सी हेयर देर आर टू ऑब्जेक्ट दिस टू आर द ऑब्जेक्ट सो ऑब्वियसली वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट इन टू पैसिव वॉयस इन बोथ वेज सो इफ आई कंसिडर द फर्स्ट वन एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट देन द पैसिव वॉयस विल बी ही वॉज फाउंड हेल्पिंग द पोर ओनली दिस पोर्शन इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू पैसिव दे फाउंड हिम ही वॉज फाउंड बाई देम इज नॉट नेसरी टू रिट राइट हेयर सो एज इट वॉज वैक प्रोनाउन सो इफ इट इज इन गिवेन इन ऑप्शन देन इट इज ओके टू राइट सो दे फाउंड हिम इज ओनली ट्रांसलेटेड इन ही वॉज फाउंड हेल्पिंग द पोर एंड इफ आई टेक दिस ऑब्जेक्ट देन इट विल बी द पोर वेर फाउंड बींग हेल्प्ड बाई देम एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज दे सॉ द पोलिस चेजिंग अ टेरोरिस्ट इफ आई कंसिडर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट देन इट विल बी द पोलिस वेर सीन चेजिंग अ टेरोरिस्ट एंड इफ आई कंसिडर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट देन इट विल बी अ टेरोरिस्ट वॉज सीन बींग चेज्ड बाय द पोलिस Now here we also need to remember that police is plural noun so it's always goes with plural verb now we can notice here in the first case when we are considering up to this then this portion remain unchanged but when we are considering this this both verb is changing so becomes was seen and chasing becomes being chased next one is when the subjects are indefinite or vague pronouns or understood nouns then it is not necessary to use them in passive voice as by somebody or by someone etc what i have already told in the previous section so the examples are somebody has stolen my books its passive will be my books have been stolen by somebody is not necessary so next one is one should do one's duty so duty should be done last one is someone told us to wait outside so this will be remain unchanged this will only converted to passive form that is someone told us we were told to wait outside if it was like Deepika told us to wait outside then it will be we were told by Deepika to wait outside but as here it is someone it is not necessary to mention next one is if any sentence begins with negative indefinite pronoun then its passive will be eventually convert into negative sentence like if i say nan saw her in the room the only negative is nan so its passive will be she was not seen in the room if i say nobody sees him going out then it will be he is not seen going out now when principal clause is followed by noun clause 
as an object in the passive voice as an object then the passive voice will be like this sorry these verbs are need to remember because in this case the following noun clause is behaves like an object so the verbs are consider hope suppose believe say claim no expect require suppose find learn etc so if i say people believe that he will return soon then this portion will be converted to passive voice people believe will be it is believed and this will be remain unchanged so people believe that he will return soon it will be it is believed that he will return soon this is a common frame we generally convert in this type or else we can also write it is in this form that is he is believed to return soon in the next example in case of negative pronoun nobody knows how rich she is so it will be nobody knows it is not known how rich she is this is remain unchanged he expects that he will pass he expects that it will convert it to passive voice he expects that it will be it is expected that he will pass or we can say he is expected to pass now in case of interrogative sentence generally which what etc are placed as they are which what but if which what is used as a object then it will be changed it will be changed what will be changed in by what and who is changed into by whom and whom is changed into who whom is changed into who so let's go through the example who teaches you english here who is the subject hence it will convert it to by whom then it will be by whom are you taught english whom you are teaching who is being taught by you here whom is also behaves like a subject that's why whom changes to into who next one is which book do you like most it will be which book is liked most by you the last one is what are you teaching its passive will be what are being taught by you now there are still some rules left to be learned we will study it in the next video now we will go through some previous year question now these are some question i have taken from the cgl mains paper so let's go through it so the first one is how many by how many people where you helped in your time of difficulty now we can see that this given sentence is already in passive voice so we will need to convert it in active voice so if i go through the first option in your time of difficulty how many people were you helped by it is also in passive so it will not be the true option 
we need to notice two things one is in which voice it is given like either it is in active or passive and the next one is in which tense so here it is given in passive voice and the tense is past tense past and definite tense so the first one is incorrect the second one is how many people are you helped by you know time of difficulty so it is not possible because it is in present tense if i take the third one is how many people helped you in your time of difficulty so these can be a correct option but we have to go through the next example also this can be correct so we marked it right as now last one is how many people were you helping in the time of difficulty this is in past continuous so it is also incorrect so the first uh, correct one is third one how many people helped you in your time of difficulty and it's also in active voice in the next one they sealed all unauthorized farms on the highway so it is in active and in past we have noted down the these two things so the first option is the authorities were sealing all unauthorized farms on the highway so where sealing is in past continuous it is not possible the second one is all unauthorized farms on the highway have sealed the authorities it is also in present perfect it is also not possible we can see here here they is subject sealed is verb and the rest of the things that is all unauthorized farms on the highway is object so the third one is all unauthorized farms on the highway which becomes a subjective case in case of passive voice were sealed so this should be the correct option and the last one is they are sealing it is also in present continuous so it is obviously incorrect so the correct one is the third one next example somebody feeds the stray dog daily the first option is daily somebody has fed the stray dog so it is in present perfect so it is incorrect because it is given in present indefinite and inactive voice also daily somebody is also an inappropriate structure it is also incorrect in that way the next one is the stray dog will be fed it is in future it is also incorrect the stray dog was fed daily it is in past indefinite it is also incorrect the last one is the stray dog is fed daily by somebody it is correct because it is in Past, uh, sorry present indefinite and in passive voice now in the option it is given by somebody is given it is vague pronoun it is not necessary but if it is given in option then it will be also correct so this is the correct answer next one is high interest rates are alarming automobile dealers so it is in active voice and present continuous tense here high interest rates are subject are alarming is the verb and automobile dealers is object so the subject in passive voice should be automobile dealers and the first one is automobile dealers are being alarmed by high interest rates so this should be the correct option but we should go through the rest one also the next is high interest rates it's obviously incorrect because this is already the subject in the active so it cannot be the subject in passive so it is incorrect this is also incorrect we need need not to go through the rest one because the initial one is already incorrect the last one is automobile dealers is being alarmed by high interest rates automobile dealers is plural so it cannot be placed here is so it is wrong so the correct option is first one next one is people are reading the articles on using plastic waste innovatively with interest 
so it is in present continuous and in active voice so people is subject are reading is verb and the rest one is object so the first one is the articles on using plastic waste innovatively are being read with interest so this should be the correct one next one is people were reading it is in past continuous it is incorrect next one is the articles on innovative use of plastic waste are read it is in present indefinite it is also incorrect next one is people have been reading it is in present perfect continuous so it is also incorrect so this is the correct answer next one is preparations are being made for our annual feast so it is in passive voice are being made is in passive voice and in present continuous tense so in the first option preparations were being made so it is not possible because it is in past continuous and also the same subject as it is it was in the passive form so it it is obviously incorrect then the next one is we are making preparations for our annual feast so this should be the correct option next one is our annual feast preparations are made it is already in passive voice and it is also in passive voice so it is also incorrect and the next one is we have made preparations for our annual feast we have made is in present perfect and it is in present continuous so it is also incorrect so the correct one is option number 2 we are making preparations for our annual feast here we is indefinite pronoun that's why it is not used in here in passive voice it can be preparations are being made by us but it is indefinite pronoun so it is not necessary next one is nobody told us vanita was unwell vanita was unwell will remain unchanged the change will be only in this portion nobody told me then it should be it is in obviously in active voice and in past indefinite so it should be i was not told by anybody that vanita is unwell it is same so it should be the correct one next one is nobody tells me it is in present indefinite it is obviously incorrect i was not being told it is in past continuous it is incorrect nobody told me vanita was being unwell it is obviously incorrect because here will be no passive change so this is the correct option next one is popular monuments will be kept open till 9 pm so will be kept open it is also in passive voice in future indefinite so the first example is they had kept it is in past perfect it is obviously incorrect next one is they will keep popular monuments open till 9 pm it is in also active and in also future indefinite tense so it should be the correct option next one is they are keeping popular they are keeping is not correct because it is in present continuous and the last one is they will be keeping it is also future continuous it is also incorrect so the correct one is they will keep popular monuments open till 9 pm next one is teenagers don't like being told what to do where we can see the use of gerund being told what to do so the options are being told what to do is not liked by teenagers it can be the correct one next one is being told what to do was not being liked was not is not possible because it is given in present indefinite the last one as uh, third one is teenagers should not be told should not be told is the use of models and here we do not need to use any model it is also not given so it all it is also incorrect option and the last one is teenagers are not liking being told what to do it is in present continuous so it is also incorrect next one is the last examples which i have taken from the tr1 cgl 2019 exam the manager keeps the work pending this is active and in present indefinite form 
so the first is the the work are being kept pending by the manager now work is uncountable so it always goes with singular verb that is is so this is incorrect the next one is the work was kept pending by the manager was is past indefinite and it is given in present indefinite so it not be the correct option third one is the work has been kept that is in present perfect it is also not correct last one is the work is kept pending by the manager it is also in uh, sorry it is also in passive voice it is also in present indefinite and here is is also used after the uncountable noun work so the fourth one is the correct answer so that's all for today i hope it will help you thank you